it is very tough being a Minnesota Fighting Vikings fan. It's tough, man, where just when you get your hopes up, they, they crush you, and it, it's funny. Where We did a video before the Greasy Grammy Green Bay Packers allegedly, allegedly beat the Vikings, you know, questioning why there's so many negative Vikings fans, even though I understand it. I mean, so many years just getting beat down, let down, all that stuff will make you snarky and negative. Fully understand it, but it, it does seem like a significant portion of the fan base just taking the temperature of the fan base rectally is that – they're, they're very down uh, trodden. They're, they're looking at this 12 and 4 team. I was like, oh, they're going to be a one and done. All right? And find someone who loves you as much as Vikings fans love to say, this team's going to be one and done. Uh, exactly what happens, man. But uh, let's look at the circumstances, like uh, objectively. Let's let's look at things, right? So as of right now, the Vikings are in the three seed. Probably going to be stuck there because the Niners probably aren't going to lose at home against the Cardinals, and the Vikings uh, probably should rest uh, as many stars as possible against the Bears uh, Week 18 on Sunday. So the Vikings. It looks like they're going to be hosting uh, the New York Football Giants, who are slotted into the sixth seed. Vikings, of course, played the Giants a couple weeks ago. They got it on, and, and no big deal. And, and everyone says, like, oh, well, so here's the premise. Here's the premise what all, all the naysayers of, like, oh, this is going to be one and done the same. They're saying that the Giants are going to come in to U.S. Bank Stadium and beat the Vikings' ass. That, that's exactly what they're saying, even though, yes, I mean, a couple weeks ago, the Vikings beat the Giants at U.S. Bank Stadium, the whiteout game, Christmas Eve. Uh, yes, it took a 61-yarder uh, from Greg Joseph. He's like, oh, well, the Vikings barely beat the Giants. Uh, again, we're sorry. Me so sorry that the Vikings are not winning games in the way that you would want them to. All right, so basically they're saying in a playoff spot, uh, the Giants are, are going to come in and beat the Vikings, which hasn't happened a lot at U.S. Bank Stadium. The Vikings have lost one game. One game at USB. They're eight and one on the season. Yes, blah blah blah. Point differential is sixteen. But in statistics, you throw out the high and the low. So if you throw that out, guess what? The Vikings' point differential at home in the remaining seven games is thirty-seven. So that's decent. And guess what? Winning is winning is winning. So, but you, you're telling me that US Bank Stadium will just be like shh, quiet as a church mouse, just sixty thousand, just like, oh, well, how many points are the Vikings going to lose by today? Boo, boo. That's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Eight and one can tell me nothing. That's right. And like we said, Giants coming in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but why the Vikings won't be at one and done? Because they host at least one home playoff game. Now, if things break right in terms of who wins and what their seeds are, maybe the Vikings get two. There is also a way that the Vikings could get three home playoff games. So we're getting ahead of ourselves. Like I said, eight and one at home this season. That's hard to do. That's extremely hard to do, especially given the circumstances of the season. The U.S. Bank Stadium crowd is loud. It's proud. It's not full of sad sacks. There's just a bum, bum, skull. Also, that energy. First home playoff game in a hot second. Absolute, man. Plus, players getting back from injury. Players resting week 18, being able to get right. Have two full weeks to get ready for the Giants. Also, that chip on their shoulder. Where uh, You see this factored into NFL betting lines. When a team loses, they get embarrassed. They get humbled. They generally bounce back the next week. Because, yeah, I'm not going out like that. Can't be that. And since the Vikings are probably going to rest players against the Bears, basically they're going to have two weeks to stew about what happened in Green Bay. And then come out just completely blazing. So anyway, I started blasting uh, against the New York Football Giants. Also, I mean, let's factor in. So we're again, we're generally positive on things, but I feel like too many people, too many Vikings fans are, are just negative on this season. Like they're not enjoying it. Where you have a new head coach, you have a new GM, you're having implementing a defensive shift where the Vikings still largely have four three personnel. The offensive line has had injuries and is still a mess. This is a competitive rebuild. It's year one of a competitive rebuild. You got 12 wins, could get 13 uh, week 18 against the Bears. You have a division title, which has been in your back pocket for uh, a couple weeks, as well as you're going to be hosting at least one playoff game. Like, isn't that a success? Like you told me this off season. All right, so Zimmer fired. Uh, Kirk uh, Kirk Cousins extended. Kirk's been playing some pretty good ball. Maybe not yesterday, but whatever. And then you got Kevin O'Connell. You got Quasey coming in. If you told me right then, or if you told even the most negative Vikings fans that hey they're gonna go 12, 12 and four heading into Week eighteen, they're gonna have the division locked up. They're gonna be hosting a playoff game. Uh, wouldn't even the most negative Vikings fan be like, yeah, that's pretty good. We we will take that. That's the situation that the Vikings are in right now. And no. Success is not linear. Uh, we're sorry. It can't be a perfect 45 degree angle uh, because you, you don't. You always get what you need, but you don't always get what you want. It's one of those situations, man. But I, I, I got faith that the Vikings fans are going to be loud and proud just getting it on U.S. Bank Stadium. And like I said, eight and one at home. 
eight and one at home. We'll just keep repeating that. So I understand it's very easy to get snarky and negative, especially you know the morning after you know whatever the hell happened uh, against the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. But one and done, nah, 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 nah. nah. Uh, but your thoughts and our thoughts, one and done? Question mark. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.